Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to XM.com. It's a Friday, January 14th. And before we close the week, let's have a look at what's happening in dollar loony because the market structure here looks uh, quite interesting on the daily chart. Uh, actually, we can see that the pair has crossed below the neckline of this uh, bearish head and shoulder pattern. Um, uh, this week, that was around 1.26. Uh, and uh, the violation at this point sent some negative signals about the market trend. Then uh, the price went all the way down to meet support around the 200-day moving average just below the 1.25 level where uh, it has been consolidating uh, the past two days. Uh, encouragingly, I can see that uh, Thursday's session has created a bullish uh, hammer candlestick on the chart um, which is flagging a potential upturn but that still needs confirmation because the price is currently under pressure set to close below yesterday's closing price. Uh, we're looking for oversold signals now. The stochastics are the only to support that scenario. The indicator is looking to is looking for a rebound below its 20 oversold uh, level. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the the falling RSI has yet to reach its um, 30 oversold mark, and the MACD is still decelerating below its uh, below zero and its red signal line. So uh, overall, uh, the bear's bias is still in place for now, and. Um, and uh, what could trigger the next bearish round is a close below, it's a sustainable close below the 200 day moving average, uh, where the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement of the uh, latest applic is also placed. So uh, any close, uh, so additional closes uh, below that uh, below that area could um, could trigger fresh selling pressures, likely towards the 78.6 percent Fibonacci of one point. 24 uh, 30 below that some consolidation could take place around 1.2380 before all attention turns again towards the 1.2287 low now if the pair manages to rebound near uh, the 200 day moving average uh, there is no key obstacle until the 50 percent fibonacci uh, where the neckline of the head and shoulder patterns plays around at one point uh, 26 a uh, move higher from here would snap that bearish pattern over here um, driving the price likely up to the 1.27 number which uh, the price failed to overcome this week the 20 and 50 day moving averages are converging towards that region so any close above that bar could be important for the market uh, if that's the case i expect further improvement towards the 38.2% towards the 23.6% uh, Fibonacci of 1.2830 and the uh, 1.2853 uh, barrier and then if upside pressures persist I would look for a break above the one year high of 1.2962 uh, well for that to happen we also need to overcome uh, that uh, bar at 1.2932 as well so overall, uh, to sum up, uh, dollar loan is still exposed to downside risk despite uh, showing some encouraging signals uh, that the decline is probably overstretched. Uh, currently, the area around uh, the 200-day moving average is in focus. If that floor collapses, then the pair could uh, mark fresh lows in the coming sessions. So uh, that's all for dollar loan today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.